Tom Reuter here with Spray Foam Engineers. Going to give you a real quick uh, startup and shutdown procedure of the Graco E20 Reactor 3 Pro model. So we'll start by firing up the generator. We're just going to hit the auto button and then the start button and then this will take a minute and kick on. We've already got our compressor set to auto right here so that when we turn on our breakers and the electric service panel that'll fire up as well now our generator just kicked on and we can turn on all of our breakers the compressor is full of air so uh, it just kicked on we can turn on our reactor right here That'll take a minute, a little bit longer than the older models to, uh, to fire up. Um, so then we're gonna open our little holes on top of the drums on the A and the B side so that the pumps can work properly. And then we're gonna dial up our stick pump pressure to 80 PSI on the A and the B side. And now we're making sure to supply the reactor with chemical before we go ahead and actually try pumping the machine. And we can go ahead and uh, it's letting us know that recalibration is required if we've added any hose. So we'll just hit the check mark. Um, our pressures are, we have a little bit of pressure on the system that's unbalanced from whenever it was last being used. So we can just dump these to zero just to be starting from a baseline of zero. So um, now if we were just going to go ahead and get started to spray, we would turn on our hose heat by just pressing that button right there and turn on our B-side heater and our A-side heater right there. And then we would wait until our uh, our heaters are up to temperature and then we would go ahead and turn on our pumps. But for purposes of this video, we're just gonna go ahead and say uh, that we're up to temperature so we don't have to wait. And, uh, and we're gonna, so we're up to temperature and we're gonna go ahead and turn on our pumps. So then we're gonna hit the little spray gun here and we're gonna press into the, uh, the spray function, and then we're gonna hit the power button. And then we're building pressure, you can see down at the gauges here, up to 1500 PSI. And we have our set point temperatures at 125 degrees, and our set point pressure at 1500 PSI. And you can change these by basically just clicking on the machine and entering in a different, uh, different one, or, or the up and down arrows for both the uh, pressure and the temperature. So now we're up to 1500, and they look pretty balanced down here. Um, and we are up, for purposes of the video, we're gonna say we're up to temperature and we're up to pressure, so we can go ahead and spray foam. And now if we were just shutting everything down at the end of the day or finishing for lunch, what we're gonna do is we're just basically going in reverse order and shutting everything off. So we're gonna turn off our hose heat, turn off our B-side heater, turn off our A-side heater. Then we can hit the power button right here to turn off our pumps. After we turn off our pumps there, we can go ahead and dump the pressure. After that's down to zero, we'll go ahead and turn it back into the spray position. Then we're gonna hit this little uh, spray gun picture again, and then we're gonna hit the park button right there. And it's telling us to relieve pressure before we, uh, before we attempt the park, which we did. And so now the little park button is flashing red and uh, we get the little green check mark. So now the machine is parked and we can go ahead and turn off the power at the big red knob here. And then we can uh, go ahead and turn off all of our breakers right here. And we can close the little cap on the, uh, on the drum, dial down our stick pump pressure to zero, and then we can turn off of our generator. That's it. Thanks for watching.